join forces to secure Igbo land instead of break up, organize, advise Namdekano and Eastern Security Network. Engineer Chidi Ibe, faction of Organize Ndibo, said on Wednesday that the group supports all security arrangements that will curb the nefarious activities and violent killings in the southeast by killer headsmen and other criminals. The group urged the controversial Eastern Security Network ASN to understand that they were fighting a common enemy in killer headsmen and most as true bitterness between themselves, congratulating both the Southeast Governors and IPOP on the efforts to foster further killings and violence in the Southeast, Ohanese pledged to enforce understandings and harmony among stakeholders in the Southeast by deepening consciousness and alertness on the need for peaceful coexistence between Eastern Security Network and Ebebiago in defending the territorial integrity of the Southeast. Security is local. Every Igbo should understand the perilous situation Ndibo are in at the moment. Ndibo will not tolerate any rivalry between Eastern Security Network and Ebebiago Security Network. They must unite as sister organization aimed towards solving insecurity challenges in the Southeast. Eastern Security Network is the security arm of proscribed secessionist movement. Indigenous people of Biafra IPOP, it was established in December 2020 by diaspora-based pro-Biafran political activist Namde Kano. We accept both the Ebebiago Security Network, ESN, and the Eastern Security Network, ESN as both were designed for the territorial security of Southeast and should be supported by every Igbo. It's a blessing in disguise that Southeast has two security network against a common enemy, the killer headsmen and the Boko people. We are aware of the desperation exhibited by Igbo detractors trying to foist crisis, distrust and egocentric tussles between IPOP's Eastern Security Network and the Southeast Governors, a Biago Security Network for their inordinate activities to create political tension and panic in the Southeast. Ibe faction of Ohanese Ndibo posited. Ndibo should support both groups there should be a synergy with all security formations in the Southeast to end banditry. Thank you for listening to this news. You see, um, joining of forces to secure Biafran land is not a problem. But the Eastern Security Network will not join forces with betrayals, with killers who only want to kill and destroy the people of the Biafrans, who only think about extorting, who doesn't think about the well-being of the people, who doesn't care, who doesn't want to understand, who only think about themselves. Do you understand? They don't want that. They don't want that. So the Igbos, the the the, 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 the Biafrans already have their people at heart. And that is why till this very moment they are still doing everything humanly possible to see that they still stand by their people no matter the shortcomings. You look at the sacrifices that Mazinam de Kano has been making. Is that not enough for you to know um, how serious he is in, in protecting his people? Let's begin from the period of COVID-19 
when the federal government abandoned the Igbos. You listen to the um, to the to the minister, uh, 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 the female minister Farouk, when she said that none of the palliatives will go to the southeast since they are supporting supporting Biafran the Biafran freedom. What did Inam the Kano do? For you to know the person that have the people at heart, we have the Igbo governors very close to the people. They never showed any single love by providing palliative for the people. Nam the Kano all the way from abroad, together with his brothers in diaspora, sent palliatives full of trailers for their people. That's when it's by the way. Many a times that the Igbos have found themselves in one or two troubles, being attacked unnecessarily by these um, hoodlums called Fulani Edsmen. It has always been Nam the Kano who has been taking the move to make sure that these people are secured and safe. It is still because of this that made him to come about the availability of the Eastern Security Network, since the Southeast governors have refused to do anything concerning the situation of the people. So what else? What else do you want Nabucano to do that will make you to understand that yes, truly, he have his people at heart? Joining a force is not a problem, but Nabucano will not join forces with criminals in the states. The wicked governors, those governors that think about themselves, those governors that only want things to go well for them alone and not for the people. They are not thinking about the people. This Ibibiago security that they have just set up, they set it for them own self. They set it up in a hurry. They never took their time to set it up. And that is why it's at this very moment, I'm telling you with boldness and with sincerity that they don't have any reliable hands or reliable youth to represent that security outfit. I am telling you because if truly they have it, the, 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 the day they were doing the launching and the inauguration, they would have presented it. They would have presented it. So all these things is a reality. They are realities. Do you understand? They are all realities. So let us just tell ourselves the humble truth. Let's tell ourselves the humble truth. So, what are we saying, my dear viewers? The time has come for us to begin to tell ourselves what matters. Tell ourselves what matters and begin to act. Act like people that know the truth. Do you understand? And that is just it. So, let me still hear from you and know what your other comments and opinion are concerning this. If you are new, do me free to leave your comments below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.